What's going on, YouTube Frost here? I hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, my mood's a little different today. Because the thing that always happened, happened again. Call of Duty releases an update, and it completely breaks something within their game. How does this keep happening? I don't think anybody over at Activision understands the word competent. I, I don't. Because I don't think anyone that works there, or any of their developers, understand the word. They could read the dictionary definition of it, and they'd be confused by it. Because everything I've seen so far, from the start of this game until now, proves to me they are incompetent. They are as incompetent as the day is long. How do you release every single update and functionally break something in the game? And it's so ironic that yesterday I released a video talking about rank play and how it's been a mess. And they made it worse! How do you make a mode that's already terrible even worse? Incompetency! Oh my god! Through every ounce of their being, they are showcasing just how little they care. How do you put an update live that functionally breaks one of the modes that you've been boasting about for the last week and a half. How? You're trying to push Warzone Resurgence ranked. Yet, oh no, you can't play it because the SR bug ruins the experience. And of course now, it, it has been updated. Don't worry, they are quick to act. But it's not the fact that they're quick to act. It's the fact that they release it in that state in the first place. That they think it's okay to go live. Nobody, and I mean nobody in this community, would have been upset if they waited an extra day to fix the things that needed to be fixed. To make sure the update had some polish to it. How is it every single time they update this game, they break it? But I guess it's all our fault, right? I mean, we didn't buy enough stuff in the store. We didn't buy enough of the battle pass. We didn't support them enough. We didn't give them the tools to be able to make competent updates. We are the ones to blame. The fans are always the ones that take the brunt of this incompetency. And of course, 1,900 employees that just get laid off because, well, too bad for them. Meanwhile, the quality of the game is continuing to tailspin. How anybody can look at this franchise and say, I gladly will spend $20 on a bundle. Or upwards of 3,000 COD points for one bundle. What a joke. The fact that people will, are willing to do that just shows you how lost the industry is. How gullible the fans are. A and I just don't know where to go. This update could have been postponed. Make sure you don't break the game. How are you this bad at this? This is your job. You have one job. Make sure the game functions. And you can't do that. You cannot be bothered to deliver that. Time and time again, I see it every time I play the game. I see it every single update. The game is fundamentally flawed, and yet they try to pretend it's not. There's never, ever an apology. There's never, ever an admission of them not doing their best. Except that one time, you know, Raven said it. But heaven forbid Sledgehammer or Activision ever come out and admit wrongdoing. This entire game is wrongdoing to this franchise. It's a sad excuse to try to grab nostalgia and say, Hey, remember that thing you liked 15 years ago? Here it is again. Please like our game that we have not polished or ensured any quality of whatsoever. And yeah, it might sound like I'm overreacting. And of course I am. But this level of incompetency would get everyone fired at their jobs. If you were somebody that oversaw this update and you saw the same pattern happen again and again and again, how do you keep your job? How? That's what I've got to ask. How? It makes no sense to me. And yeah, I'm not somebody who wants to see people lose their jobs. I don't. But incompetency should not be rewarded. And that's what we've been doing as a community for far too long. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. But also, 
this is a double-edged sword. Maybe, just maybe, Activision could pick up this ball they're fumbling around and do something of value for this franchise for once. For once. And again, I think it is so ironic, so funny, so hilarious that I released a video yesterday talking about rank play being a mess, and then they go and break it even further on an update I didn't even know that was coming out. How do you consistently screw things up like this? How? It's a lack of care. It's a lack of honest-to-goodness respect for the community. They don't care about you. They don't respect you. They expect you to just continue to claw back to them. Oh, don't worry. They'll continue to give us money. We'll continue to disrespect them in every way, shape, and form. We'll put out updates that fundamentally break aspects of our game. And we know that they're going to continue to pay us. Because you guys have not done anything worthy of respect. You haven't. You continue to reward this. There are going to be people today that can't play rank play. And they're resolution to this to their ranked play completely falling apart is to go buy the battle pass go buy black cell and you might think i'm crazy you might think i'm being a little bit overzealous here ferocity no one would do that yeah they would we're talking about the lowest of the low people that don't care about where their money goes they just don't honestly give it to me i'll invest it and i'll give you the earnings from it like, you'll make more money. You'll have something tangible to show for the money that you spend. It does not increase fun. And yet you're all still willing to do it. You're all still willing to do it. Somebody compared, legitimately compared on my channel, cosmetics to owning a supercar. Oh, well, you can't see the outside of a supercar. I'm in the inside of a supercar. It is legitimately a tangible asset that I have. If I buy a Ferrari, it's my Ferrari. It's not property of somebody else's. You might quote unquote own it, but it's a digital item that they can just take away from you. You don't have it forever. Dude, that type of comparison, that type of mindset is what leads Call of Duty to this nonsense. To where we're at with Call of Duty right now. Update after update. Breaking thing after breaking thing. And we're all just supposed to pretend that cosmetics are like supercars? Are you kidding me, community? Oh, man. Whew. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm. Got a little too yelly screamy. Might have to call my therapist after this one. But anyways. My point is. Call of Duty continues to release updates that break their game and they're okay with it yeah they might scramble to fix it they might make sure that it gets fixed in a timely fashion but they're okay releasing a substandard product because they know they're going to get the support of their community still they know that no one's going to hold out they know no one's not going to purchase things with the store they know that the battle pass is still going to do well because they have everybody addicted to that process People are addicted to the battle pass. They're addicted to the cosmetics. They have everyone. That's why they're okay doing this. The people that leave the game as a result of this or continue to criticize them as I have, even though maybe I got a little hyperbolic in today's video, they know they're not getting our money. So they don't really care because they know they have everyone else's. They know that they have the support of so many other people within the YouTube community that continue to buy, 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 because hey, their followers need to see the next coolest skin. And that influences them to buy more. And that influences people to buy the battle pass. And that influences people to continue to support a franchise that fundamentally breaks their game every single time they release an update. We are okay with this because we continue to support it. So what am I really getting mad about today? Is it really Activision's fault? Who's holding them accountable? The community isn't. Their higher-ups aren't. No one's holding them accountable. So they're going to continue to do nonsense like this. It is up to the community to hold them accountable. But all of you are too addicted to buying the next shiny object that no accountability will ever be needed. And that's the problem. And that's the realization you have to come to as a Call of Duty community member, as a fan of this franchise. It's never going to get better. Until, of course, maybe there's a competitor that enters the scene that can break this pattern. But as it stands right now, nothing fundamentally is going to change. 
They're going to continue to be incompetent. They're going to continue to release half-assed updates that break the game more than they fix the game and be completely out of touch with their community. The ones that actually want to see this game get better. So that's it for this video for me. You know, I did the yelly screamy bit. I did what I needed to do to get my feelings across. I'm just so ashamed to be a part of this community sometimes. A community that wants to support this type of greed and this type of attitude. An attitude of no accountability. An attitude of ego. And an attitude of disrespect. Because that's where we're at right now. And we continue to see it time and time again. Oh well, I guess, right? Might as well go buy the new shiny thing in the store. Or buy the new shiny battle pass. That's what's going to get you through the day. We've made this bed. It's time for all of us to line it. So for myself, thank you so much for watching. I know it got a little out of hand. Um, but I hope you found some entertainment value in it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see less unhinged rants in the future... Just hit that subscribe button. I'm sure I will go off on these tangents again. But uh, the core of this channel is to try to keep things a little bit less frantic. But who knows? Call of Duty continues to piss me off. You might see more of them. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.